in this lesson we are going to do some cleanup so let's start with moving our queries to a separate file and mutations also to a separate file so let's name this to query file as query.js and let's cut we have here and bring it over here so i'm going to do a const query to what we have here okay next we need to export this to module dot exports equals query okay next we have to import it so let's go to the top do const query equals require query then we can do this okay all right so what does this query need the query needs the character model so let's move it to a copy of the top all right we don't need this okay the query part is moved to a separate file right let's do mutations now let's Cut this. Okay, let's create a new file. Mutation.js. The const mutation equals to what we had over here. Okay, to export. Oops, not module actually mutation. Let's go to the top and let's get the values, uh, the functions that we need to import. So we need character, we need validate character, all that. So let's take this thing. So let's take all three of this. As you can see, it's highlighted. It's un it's uh, faded which means that it's not used in the index file all of those are needed here and what else yes we need these things let's move them to the top okay what else let's import our mutation 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 okay mm. Do we have everything now all right cool yeah yeah and one last thing here it has to be registered user and not the user because the user does not have the id that we want okay so let's open our playground and see if everything is working let's do the characters query yeah it is working right cool so everything seems to be working fine and we have a lot cleaner index.js which is what we want okay uh, now i would like to do one more thing since we got the id from uh, we got the id from the verify token uh, we can actually do destructure this and to get the id like this and let's find the user so let's do const user equals to user model and find my id and pass in the id this way we have the user i'm going to do await and find the user i'm going to do user and let's say the user has a field called uh, verified email verified yeah email verified and we'll set it to true and do user dot save okay but let's add this field to our mongo mongoose model so let's go to user model to what was the name again email verified um it's going to be a boolean and i will do default to false let's add it to our schema as well so let's go here 
schema graphql and go to user type and add the field so of course it's going to be a boolean okay cool we are done so we get the user we set the email verified to true and we save it and we return true okay let's remove the console and see if this works i'll go to my next app do a refresh and go to see compass yes we have email verified true this of course i registered this previously but that does not have the field all right okay we have verified it and we have saved it into our database now as well okay so that lesson did a little bit of refactoring we did our code around for multiple files so that we can manage them easily and we did save email verified to be true if you have verified your email okay so that was a quick lesson uh, stay tuned for the next one please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe have a good day bye